Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Home. Handy Andy Handyman. Welcome back to another run through. We've got a customer in the Bridge Mill area where we do a ton of work. Uh, and this customer is getting ready to list his house for sale. So we're going to come through here and the front dormers, we're going to repaint all three of these front dormers. On a couple of them, on the far left one, we've got rotted left and right brick mold, so we'll piece those in. The corner boards have splits in them. We'll just caulk those and repaint them. They don't really appear to be rotted. Um, we have a, a similar issue on this on the center of the dorm right here. We're going to have to repair this lower part of the top sash in this window got split and rotted. And you can kind of see the wrinkling. And then on the bottoms of this dormer, the center dormer, and the right dormer, we'll replace the bottom two rows of siding. This is Nietzsche siding. It's a hardy plank knockoff. We see builders using it all over the, all over the place. This house is of that age where now it's starting to delaminate. The only areas that we see it typically are in dorms or areas that get a lot of water. And you can see here, uh, if you get up underneath it, you'll see where the siding is starting to separate in this corner right here. And that's what Nietzsche does. And so if you're getting your house redone with siding, make sure you're getting James Hardy, Hardy Plank Siding. Um, if you're not, you're going to have problems with it. Um, here, because the builders never back prime the faces of these porch posts, the columns, they're all rotted. So every one of these, I think there's six of them, all the way across the front, we're gonna replace these fronts. It doesn't make sense to piece them in. We can do that, but you'll see a line, it just won't look right. So we'll replace the four foot face all the way across. The gutters need to be cleaned, and you can see he's got rot in this corner fascia board right here, and the water's been coming down this line every time it rains. So um, we've got a little bit of rot on this face too, right here, this one by six on the, the upper part of the column. We'll replace that as well. And then on the left side of the house, this has been let go for so long. We need to repaint this fascia board from the corner all the way down. Um, but this fascia board up here towards the top is actually rotted through now. So we'll replace about 12 feet of that there. And we've got a, a, a piece of brick mold. We talk about this all the time in our videos. Whenever you see wrinkling in the wood, like what you see right here, see that, the wrinkle? That lets you know it's rotted out. Um, we've got a, a little bit of a drainage issue in the back of the house. We're probably not going to address that right now. We'll probably let that come up in an inspection. Uh, you can't see it from the video, but he's got some rot in the in the uh, above the deck back here. The far right door has some rot in the left frame. And then we'll come back and we'll actually just repaint the brick mold around all these windows and doors on the just on the back of the porch area just so it looks better he's got some drainage issues here that we'll address another time we would trench very carefully and run a, a we'll tie all three of these gutters together and run underground drain lines so that where it drops down there's another drain pocket in this area that we could run it to and then on the back side over here he actually this one middle window right here we've got some rotted brick mold on the bottom right corner of this window. And then on this door over here, we've got the top brick mold is rotted out and the left and right frame and brick mold are both rotted out there. This gutter is dumping a ton of water in this area right here and it's got nowhere to go because of the pool. So we'd actually replace this gutter in this corner right here, which is about 22 feet of gutter and, and run the downspout down this line and let it drain down the hill. Some of that water is going to get into here. He may have to come up with some sort of a terrace system or something to deal with it. But at least it'll keep the water from dumping in here. Once it's here, it's trapped. And he'll come back and do some lava rocks or some cool stonework right here to take care of that issue. And that's pretty much it on this particular job. We do a ton of this stuff. He and he's been out here for 25 years. It's hard to believe that I've spent that much of my life with this business. Um, we've always loved it, and it's just been... Pretty much a good situation for us all the way across um, it's just funny as you as you do these things unfortunately this our gates locking us in here right now sorry about that as you run out and do all these projects and do the things that we do we see everything and one of the things that we see all the time is people like this customer paying good money for things he had a painter do some paint work last year and it's yuck, you didn't caulk anything, no prep. Um, we'll catch this one corner board against the porch here and just repaint that. So there's lots of things you can do to get ready to list your house for sale. 
rotted wood is the kiss of death. So if you got that, you want to take care of it, knock it out. Peeling paint, go ahead and take care of that, knock it out. Leave some of the obvious stuff, electrical and plumbing, little drip or broken outlet. Because if you don't find, if you if you don't leave things for the inspector to find, they're going to dig and find more. Just what happens, we do this stuff, we're in 20, 30 houses a week. We're busy, we're all over Metro Atlanta. Just be patient with us. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. I'm Andy. Bye for now.